Shalom everyone, it's Vlad Sporum and welcome to my latest boop 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 video. I believe you've been waiting for this video so long because you could not understand Vlad, what is going on with you? Why are you making so many videos about Israel even though you haven't been making one for ages? Now it's time, or as I like to say, Zehazman, it is time to make this video. My obsession with Israel and as you can see I'm playing now Euro Truck Simulator 2 with the Pro Mods um, expansion I'm putting the link into the description below if you play this game as well So you can download this really nice map because right now I just arrived in Cyprus and I want to continue the trip to Israel I picked this game because yeah, first of all it will be going to Israel and I actually want to show you also some insights from me how come that I'm obsessed with Israel and how it all started. So let's continue this trip. I am going to drive right now. And as you can see, I got a manual transmission and I'm driving a really, really nice Volvo. I have to be a little bit careful because it's pre pretty tricky to get here around. Oh no, let's shift into the fourth gear. Um, I actually got this steering wheel since the Black Friday uh, in November last year and to be honest with you, it's really amazing. I really enjoy driving with it. So where is this trip going? So right now I'm in, in Lemesos in Cyprus and it will go all the way to Ashdod. I actually could have gone on the on the ferry back in Thessaloniki all the way to Ashdod, but no, I actually want to pick the ferry to Haifa. But I'm going to reveal later on why I want to go via Haifa and not directly to Ashdod. Anyway, how did it all start? Well, many might believe it started like very recently, like let's say in 2017, but to be honest with you, it started a lot earlier. I believe that will be a year when most of you were not even born or were like toddlers. That was in the year 2005. That was probably one of the first contacts where I got with Israel and that year was pretty specific because in that year is I watched for the second time the Eurovision Song Contest and I remember from that year a very very good looking woman participated then and this was Shiri Maimon. She participated with the song Hasheket Shenishar and I really love that song not only because of the song but also because she was like really really nice looking. I mean even today when she's significantly older than compared to 2005 I mean 15 years, can you imagine that? Oh well, I'm messing up the gearbox. That was one of my first memories what I had back from Israel when I was younger. But then how did it go further? Well, most of the time uh, I got a connection with Israel via Eurovision and it continued later on through the years because Israel sent lots of really nice entries and I found Israel really, 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 really nice in the whole song contest but I never had like the proper des desire to go there until I got a little bit older and that was the year 2017. In that year I finally discovered that there was like one specific person Oh wait, we're actually approaching here to the ferry towards Haifa so I'm going to park now the truck here inside And let's see, yeah, we can go from Larnaca to Haifa. Let's go. So it's 4 a.m. in the morning in Haifa and it's the first time that I'm in this game in Israel. Now I want to continue. So the first time when I had like the desire to explore more about Israel, this was in 2017. And that was the year when, well, it has always to do something with Eurovision. That was the year when Imri Ziv participated in Eurovision with his song I Feel Alive. Even before he released the song, I was like having a look what, uh, who is Israel selecting on the Eurovision Song Contest. For the ones who don't know, um, Israel has like a very famous casting show called Hakuchav Chaba or 
in English The Rising Star. It was also broadcasted in very different countries, like for example it was also broadcasted in Germany, but only one season. It was not really popular, I didn't have the, I didn't have the chance to watch it pro at all, I, I didn't know of, of its existence. However, in Israel it's still popular and it's still airing. Like even the person before Shiri Maimon, she, st uh, she became the judge in this year. And I find it really, really awesome. Because the whole system, how it works behind it's really, really cool. I actually would like to see the show for once uh, in the studios. I don't know where I can see it. But who knows, maybe I will get the chance, it will be a really cool thing. Back to Imri Ziv. He won this whole casting show and one particular performance stayed in my mind and that was the performance when he sang the song Halo from Beyonce. And to be honest, it was one of the best versions. Actually, it was even better than the one from Beyonce. Since then, I really... I will not... I, well, let's say it in a, a little bit different term. I fangirled a little bit, or better said fanboyed, but mostly shipping a singer is mostly a girl thing. After he released I Feel Alive, oh my god, that song was so good. I really enjoyed it so much. So much that I was really, really disappointed when he got only 23rd in the, semi -fi uh, in the final. But still, he did his best and then it was really cool. And what was happening afterwards, like, I discovered that there were like two people in the judge panel who were like super cool dressed and gained my attention. And those guys were Static and Ben El Tavori. Now you're wondering why do I think that they are awesome? Well, it's mostly because of their looks, but also I wanted to find out who those guys were. And then I googled them and then I found out that they are singers. And then I saw the first song and that song is about the road what I'm driving right now. Kvishachov. Actually, the Kvishachov is like the coastal road between Haifa and Tel Aviv. It's like a motorway, just that in the in that video from Static and Benel, it was portrayed as a really nice place to drive, to enjoy, to have a great time. And I find that really, really cool. To be honest with you, the Kvishachov is like, like to me, what in Greece, the summer is, for Israel, it's the Kvishachov. No, Barbie was not the first song what I, li what I heard from them, it was, it was actually the first cover I made. So if you haven't checked out my cover of Barbie, check it out, it's up there in the top right corner. Al Kvishachov, Ur Nasanash Taklevelatov, Revelachov, Anela Brim Lizov, Yeah, 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 Akol Yetov, Yeah, 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 Al Kvishachov, Ur Nasanash Taklevelatov, Revelachov, Anela Brim Lizov, Yeah, 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 Akol Yetov, Yeah, 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 Akol Zoretov. Sorry for my bad Hebrew pronunciation, I just love this song. It's Oh yeah, here's Herzliya, and you know what Herzliya is? Cult of. I just continued all the way with the Israel stuff. Like I listened all the songs from Static and Benel. I also discovered some other songs from other singers, like um, let's say from Stefan Legar, Dudu Acharon, um, Noah Kirel, and also. Omer Adam, and I find them all awesome, like I discovered the true love towards Israeli music and then I felt like, dude, you really have to do a visit to this country. Actually it went all the way like this, like I also started to make reactions about Israeli music and they went like crazy and then with those I gained a huge popularity. Well, for you it might not sound like much, but for me it was like a really big thing. Like I didn't expect that it that I will get like several thousands of views on on videos from Israel. And to be honest with you, for me this means a lot. Like basically all the videos what I've made about Israel, they're genuine, like I made them because I really enjoyed them. After I stopped making those reactions for personal reasons, I discovered that um, the interest 
towards Israel shrank a little bit, but I still wanted to make some covers, make Israeli themed videos, but it became, uh, because of my lack of time, a little bit difficult. I really regret a little bit that I cannot really make videos about Israel that often, because I got really nice people from Israel who are watching my videos, including all those people who say that Kal means easy. Now making another one, and to be honest with you, Israel has given me so much. I want to give also Israel something back. Oh, we actually arrived here in Ashdod. Now I'm going off the motorway. Well, that was actually a pretty short ride. I mean, Israel is not a really big country. What happened afterwards was actually nothing much. Like now in the recent time, nothing is going on. But I want to reveal you now something. And this has to do something with a future trip of mine. Believe it or not, in two weeks I'm going to Israel. No joke. And to be honest with you, I'm really, really, really looking forward for it because it is a place I really want to visit. It is something what I think it's worth visiting. I'm coming from the 5th until the 12th of February to Israel. I plan to do a lot of things. I will stay for one whole week. I'm going to rent a car, I'm going to drive the Kvishachov, I'm going to enjoy the cities like Tel Aviv and Haifa and lots of other places. And maybe I can meet some of my viewers because without them I it would not have been possible that I came so far. In the next few weeks I'm going to release further Israeli themed videos. Um, I believe there, that there will be one more until I go to Israel. When I go to Israel I will cer certainly make lots of vlogs, I'm going to upload the whole trip on YouTube as well. Hopefully it will be the trip of my life and that you will also appreciate it. And certainly Israel is one of the places I want to cross off from my bucket list because it has been a dream for me for already three years to go there and I cannot believe that it is finally coming true. That was it from my side. I hope that you really enjoyed the video. Leave me a like if you came until this point so far. Also, don't forget to write me a comment for some feedback as feedback is always good. Make sure to subscribe me as I'm really sure that you don't want to miss any of my future videos. Want to stay in touch with me? My Instagram account and my Discord server are both linked into the description below. For some future updates about my trip to Israel, certainly go there. You will see some of my stories. You will definitely enjoy that, I, that I'm really going there. It will be surely lit. Stay tuned and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye. Oh yeah, before I forget, Achlavlados. Lados.